Okay, Eddie. Say hi. Hi. We're we're here at the outlets. We are. Up in Castle Rock. They probably look like most outlet malls. Probably. They're doing, they're doing a lot of stuff over here. I don't know if you can see the sunlight. Man, it's right there. But a lot of construction going on. There's a chance to go this way. Yeah, I saw some pretty decorations too. Like Easter? Yeah, like Easter. <laughs> oh, because Easter can't have good decorations? I, I didn't say that. So, nothing's open just quite yet. We're here a little early. Let's see, Eddie? Oh my goodness. And I'm sure it's really cool to be here at night because all the strands of light they have up. This is just one of the walkways. Yeah, we haven't been up here in a while, have we? No. Cause we didn't we didn't do this last year. The weather was yucky, I, if I recall. Yeah, pretty sure. Right. Oh, those it was, doors are uh, open. It was like nutcracker last year. Yeah. When we got out, I had to wipe snow off my car. Yeah. There's more um, reindeer down here at the bottom. Of this row too. This is like a big fireplace right here. When we're down, they usually have the big Christmas tree, too, don't they, or something? Yeah, I think it's just down a different um, section, because there's more than one area here. Like, row. Yeah, like, like most <laughs> outlet malls. Yeah, like most places, right? <laughs> See, why do you have to make fun of me? Like, I asked you if you wanted to record. I said I would, and then all of a sudden you took it, and I go, oh, I thought I was going to be driving. Okay, well, ah. we're gonna stop for here for now and we'll get some more, okay? Yeah. Yeah, here's the directory of the place. It's pretty big. You see anything new on there that. No, but they got an H&M. I think that's where they sell the whips and chains for people that like the kinky sex. No, 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 no. You just waited for me to turn this on and tell your crazy jokes. Or they just come to me. <laughs> okay. So Ooh, Fuzzy Weeks Candy Factory. I didn't know it was called Fuzzy Weeks. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. Makes me think of Fuzzy Weeks. Old Fuzzy Weeks Ale or if you're watching a Muppets Christmas Carol, Fuzzy Week. Okay. In this way they're doing a lot of construction. Get behind you. And here. You know, all that blocked up. We usually come up this way first. And while we still can come to these shops, we just weren't able to come up how we usually come up over there. But I don't know, Eddie and I are thinking that maybe they're maybe making some fountains in there. I don't know, but they've got all the lighting all kind of tied up together. It's a little brisk right now this morning. It is a little brisk. And it's still like we've still got nine or ten minutes before anything opens, so oh well, that's okay. I don't, can you see my breath? <laughs> I don't think so. So it's not that cold. See, I don't see any snow on those mountains over there, but I swear I saw some mountains back that way that had snow on them. You might. I can probably see if I need here. See? Yeah. yeah. I don't really have a good shot of it here. We gotta get through the trees. Yeah, I think the trees are gonna be in the way no matter what. Oh, maybe right here. Yeah, if I like. You can kind of see the white way out there. That's mountains with snow. Okay. Santa's house over here. Santa's house, Castle Rock. That's pretty cute. It's got a nice um, 
place. Like, is that just like a walkthrough thing, or did they actually someone said it was loud? Because there's like no alarm. I I don't know, but I don't need to sit on Santa's lap. Well, either do I, but I'm saying like it was just a walkthrough. I wouldn't mind walking through. And seeing right, it. I see a tree in there that's lit up, but. I mean, to me, it would be well, like... He just looked out the window, so he's in there. Oh, yeah, we don't need to go in there. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that. <coughs>
So it's a great place. I mean, it's so yummy. If you are here in Colorado Springs and you've never had Raisin Cane's, we highly recommend Named after his dog. that you go to Castle Rock and do some shopping and then go there for lunch. Yeah. Don't spoil yourselves. Oh my goodness. It's a little pricey because I think the Caniac meal is like 11 bucks. But it's a lot of food. It, it, it's a lot. It's good. I mean, I know that you said you could have eaten that by yourself. Let's have a big fat pig. Oh my gosh. BFP, oh my gosh. What, what did I forget too? Also that comes with the combo is the yummy piece of Texas toast. Kind of like. It's, I forgot how like soft and yummy that is. Like, I can remember when we visited them in Fort Collins having a three strip meal and not being able to finish it all. Maybe you. And not being able to, well, or I ate it all and then I couldn't eat the bread. But it's, so it was good that we split that. That was yes. good. So yeah, so give it a try. Raising Cane's um, started by a guy. Was he in Louisiana? I think so. And basically he, he uh, pitched the idea in a business class in college. And basically they said, you failed. I don't know. Wikipedia, look it up. Yeah. Hearing it from us is not as exciting. I think it's, it was a fantastic idea. The only cool part of the story is that he named the restaurant for his dog. Yes. So I'm going to put some pictures in here to that. So anyways, so that was the highlight of the day. So that's our weekend. Our Thanksgiving's over. We got the rest of the day and all day Sunday to relax and get ready for another Hang work with week. Dogs. Yeah. But then we got Christmas coming up. Lots of things. You get it. nothing. Boop. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So stay tuned for more. Tall tales. And short stories. Thanks everybody. Bye. Did you fart? No. <laughs>